Welcome back, folks. I hope all of you are doing well. I'm starting a series of Excel for Beginners on demand because a lot of uh, followers have asked for starting from beginning so that they can understand how to use Microsoft Excel efficiently. So if you are a new user, you have never used Excel or you're just getting along, I think this is a good sequence and series for all of you to get to know what are the basics of Excel and it will help you to easily understand what are the multiple functionalities in Microsoft Excel that you need to learn. So with this, I believe the most important thing is to understand the multiple components on your spreadsheet. So first of all, we need to understand what we are dealing with. And after that, we are going to go into multiple detailed topics in itself. So on the top, you see this is title bar. This green title bar shows you the name of the application, of course, Microsoft Excel, and also the name of your file, the one you're working with. Below the title bar, you will find a ribbon. This ribbon contains, and, and ribbon starts from here all the way here. So this is all ribbon. And one thing you can do with the ribbon is you can minimize it, double clicking on any of the top titles. And when it is minimized, you see only the titles of the ribbon bar. Double click on it again and it will appear again and you can see that. So that's an easy way to format your uh, spreadsheet having a small or a bigger ribbon. You can modify this ribbon as well. And you can add and remove multiple components in this ribbon. And I have a very detailed separate discussion on this on my channel. I'll put the link down there in the description so that you can find that as well. But you can modify this ribbon as and when you want. Below the ribbon, and sometimes it's above the ribbon as well, there is this little quick access toolbar. So this quick access toolbar gives you access to features that you use more often, more frequently, so that you can easily reach these features. Um, if I click here, you can see it shows more commands, and with this more commands, you can add and remove more commands to this uh, ribbon. For example, I'm adding this decrease font here, and if I click OK, you will see it's appearing here as well, so on and so forth. You can even move this above the ribbon. If you click this one, show above the ribbon, your quick toolbar will actually merge into your uh, top title bar. <clears throat> but it's there and you can see it here. So these were the two important bars. One is the ribbon and the other one is quick access toolbar. With this, I'll move further down and there is one tiny little name box in the corner. This is also called name box and we also call it address bar. And why we call it address bar or address box? Because it shows you the address where it is. And where it is now, you can see if I highlight red, we are at B4. This is the address of our cell. We can change this address or we can move to any other place. For example, B10, if I write here and click enter, I reached B10. So on and so forth. So this address is, is interesting, address bar, and you can use it to move across uh, and on multiple spaces and places as well. Um, besides this address bar, you can see a formula bar here. The formula bar is to write formulas. For example, it's equal to one plus one, and we have a two here, so we have written down a formula here. It's a formula bar, but it also enables us to write down functions. For example, is equal to sum. This is a function, and you can see now the function is activated. There is an FX sign here, which is to insert the function. If I click on the FX sign, it will take me to the function arguments, and then I can pull in multiple, uh, let's say, arguments in it and get the result. So that is very simple. Uh, the function bar or the formula bar contains the functionalities or the formulas that we use in Microsoft Excel. So you could see that I've just summed up a couple of uh, arguments here. <clears throat> then if we go down on the left hand side, you will see a small triangle pointing to the spreadsheet. This is a select all button. If I click on it, it will select everything in the spreadsheet. Very simple now. It's a select all button, very simple and easy. By the way, wherever your cell is, you can see this is the active cell location. 
this is active cell what is the definition of an excel cell it is an intersection of a column and a row intersection of a column and a row that is called a cell and this is active cell the alphabets you see here a b c d e f g h these are the column headings so the column has a heading and it is the distinct heading a b c d e f on the left hand side you see a lot of numbers these are the row numbers as you see them you can also call them row headings so these are the headings of the rows this helps us to define where exactly we are on this spreadsheet so with with all this you can see this empty scale full of multiple cells this is the work uh, book window we call it workbook window and on the right hand side you see this scrolling bar this scrolling bar is vertical scrolling bar and in the bottom you will also see horizontal scrolling bar so which means that horizontal scrolling bar helps us to move horizontally whereby vertical uh, scrolling bar helps us to move vertically so with this we behind that you can see the sheets multiple sheets here so um, you can navigate amongst the sheets by right clicking on it and you can see the sheets you can select you can click on it and you can go to that active uh, spreadsheet so that's very easy this plus sign is actually helping to create more and more sheets here in your workbook um yeah and and below that you can see this is a little uh, status bar in the status bar you can see multiple statuses normally it should be ready and you can also find display settings here so you can configure the display settings of your microsoft excel with respect to the best performance or best appearance it's your choice how you want to configure that so you you can see the tabs you can see multiple uh, shortcuts here uh, multiple views here as well and there is a zoom control as well so you can zoom in and zoom out of your spreadsheet so that makes makes life very easy when you have to zoom in and out of your spreadsheet so these were basically the fundamental components of microsoft excel my friends in the next sessions we'll go one by one on the very basic and and similar approach by going by very basic of the components, very basic of the functions to understand how does Microsoft Excel works. I hope you enjoyed it, fellows. Um, and if you have any comments, any uh, questions, any queries, any observations, please feel free to write them down into uh, the, the comment section down below. And I look forward to for your feedback. Till the time we speak in our next sessions, stay safe and take very good care of yourself. Bye-bye. If you still didn't subscribe my channel, please do it. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regularly notifications from my new videos.